What's up guys, Devin Burst, Power Shine Pressure Washing here. I know it's been about a year since I made a video and a lot has happened since then. We had a beautiful fall season, winter season, made it through the winter, didn't die. Here we are, we went through the spring, did some upgrades on equipment like I showed you last time we talked. I believe I was about to put this new pump and gearbox on here. This has been a game changer. But that was a long time ago, and I'm sorry. You know, it is what it is. So, sort of catch you up to speed. We've made a lot of evolution. Uh, we've changed a lot. And we're retiring the old F-150, the Beauty Beast. So, I'll still keep this truck. Um... It's a free billboard, free advertisement, but I think it's going to be like used to run estimates and, and all that good stuff. And we are upgrading to this one. Hey, son. Upgrading to this truck. It's an F-350. It's got 100,000 miles on it. We just bought it. I'm in the process of uh, changing the back it had a cage on it as you can see here in these pictures uh we're in the middle of building that into a ladder rack all that's going to get painted it's yellow i know don't worry it looks nasty it's not going to stay that way but today we're putting step sides on this truck aren't we son yeah yeah so we're going to put these i got these on amazon for i believe like 179 dollars something like that Super nice looking, great quality, they come with the steps, come with the instructions. I've got everything laid out. I've got my tools ready to go. Got some cardboard because my driveway is not very soft and I'm old. But before we get to doing that, I wanted to show you something else that we got for this truck. So in the coming weeks, we're going to be doing decals. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. But I got all of these boxes that are going to go on here. I got... One, two, three, four boxes. It's a 42, 36, 36, and an 18. And I bought another hose reel. Uh, my thought is instead of running through the reel like I've done before, like I do here, where I actually run chemicals and stuff through, that I just use these for storage. And uh, yeah, so I'll show you all that when we get there in the future. We're not doing anything with this today. I just thought I'd show you, give you guys a quick update. Today, we are putting step sides on this truck. So let me, uh, let me uh, get, some, get some tools out, get some bolts laid out, get everything laid out, and I'll catch back with you in just a second. So we're under the truck, and we're looking at these. This is what we're looking for. These are where the brackets mount. We've got one, two, three of them on each side. So let's get up and go. Ah, I'm too old for that. Yeah, I'll leave it to young, young boy. So instructions here. You can see we've got one, two, three spots. So on these, we're supposed to insert these clips. And then after we insert the clips, then we attach the bracket to the rocker panel with, looks like a bolt, a flat, and a lock. All right, so I've got bracket mounted here, working on this one. Get you a girl that can turn wrenches. <laughs> well, I didn't take any video of that because, you know, get so caught up in things but essentially there's just i can show you on this other one easier than i can show you on there there's six bolts on the back side of this they're down there uh you loosen them and they'll slide wherever you need them to and then they mount into this bracket two bolts per you can adjust position in and out and you can adjust it this way so i got it where i like it and i think it looks beefy looks mean really helps with getting in and out of the truck and uh yeah i'm gonna do the other side and wrap all this stuff up and go eat some chicken wings all right so this is it all wrapped up all done 
Looks good. Newest addition to the Power Shine family. I went and got the windows tinted today. Hey. Um, also had them do a strip in the windshield. Thought I'd show you guys the truck. Here's something. You need to get some get you some uh merch. One for work, one for play. I uh, got this nice new cover. Went and got some hose from the ag store. Some uh, fittings and whatnot. You know, good stuff. I got tank light. I uh, got a bracket to mount my uh, license plate. Got some uniseals. You know, little stuff like that. But I just wanted to show you uh, honestly my tent. That was, you know, the whole point of this little clip. It's the only thing so far that I've done. Loving the steps. They're pretty dirty right now. I live on a dirt road, so, you know. They're holding up good. Uh, I got a bull bar that's going to be coming in. And probably going tomorrow to Tallahassee, which is about an hour and a half drive for me away from where I live. And going to get a slimline tank that's going to actually go behind this one, I think. So this is my thought as far as bleach tank goes, chem tank, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I had the thought of doing like, you know, uh, a loaf tank here. I'd like a hundred gallon capacity. Not that I'm always going to carry a hundred gallons, but I would like a hundred gallon capacity. If I put chems on this side, I have to basically run the tank like it is with the water outlet being on a side um, versus running it the other way. Um, so my thought is Power Wash Store sells a slimline tank that's about this wide, maybe this wide, and it's about this tall and a I believe it's 48 inches wide, so it would be exactly the same width as this, but it's a 100-gallon tank, which would just look really clean and fit the look of the build. So I think we're going to go pick one of those up tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, that's that. I got my Herculiner in the mail, so I'm going to make a video on doing that. I'm going to be Herculiner in this bed. I've got to finish building out this ladder rack first, but I'm, I think I'm going to either, I'm probably going to Herculine this if I have enough. If not, I'm just going to put some spray truck bed liner on, on it and, uh, yeah, paint everything that I can really rough and tough it up. So the steps that I showed you earlier that are going to go back here, kick out steps, they're going to mount there and I'm moving my license plate to right back here to the center i got a bracket for that so um yeah just a quick update guys